right, here we are. Back. It looks like if I talk to him, I leave. I was going to talk to him and ask him well, what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. What can I do here? I can show you around, or I can just explain it to you. What do you prefer? Tell me. This is a rune span. You can train rune crafting by siphoning energy from here into a into rune essence. How do you make runes by siphoning? Well, first they have to warn you that any runes you make here are taken by the rune crafting guild when you leave. They discovered the portal to this plane and have laid claim to it as their own. Don't worry too much about that though, any runes you do make will award you points to spend at my shop in the Wizard's Tower. You will learn to become a better rune crafter faster here too. Is there anything else to do here? Wizards have a tendency to get themselves stuck on islands, and once in a while I will hear one of them calling to you. You will hear one of them calling to you. If you find and help the wizard, he will share some of his room crafting knowledge with you. How do I get a rune essence? Firstly, you can only train rune crafting here with rune essence found on this plane. How do I get rune essence? Two ways to get rune essence. You have, if you have no rune essence, you have to use the following, use the floating essence to create, collect a small amount. If you do have some essence, the best way to have more is to siphon one of the creatures that are walking around. Siphon from the creatures? Yes, the creatures that you find here are made up of rune essence that is bound together with runic energy. If you take away all that energy, then you are just left with rune essence. If you're in a hurry and don't want to siphon from the creatures, you can just chip some of their rune essence away from them using your runes. I would advise against doing it to the same creature twice though. Siphon. like it's working. I leveled up. Nice. Ah, okay, so it's using my essence. It's gone down from 25 to 21. I feel like I'm mining. Killed him. I wonder what chip off makes. 
Oh, I got even more Essex. Why not? He ran away. Well, if you could do like everything at the same time, doubling and tripling my does air make a difference between air and ah, room crafting five? I leveled up. New water essence. Oh, maybe I can't. I can only do air. Oh. I can do water or air, but I can't do earth. See, that's it's not letting me. Let's do one in the water one. That these will give me more experience. Just have a feeling. You can see the meter going up there. Not sure that was any particularly increase or not. Siphon mind storm. What is a mind storm? It's something you make. Try that one next and see what happens. That guy's messing with it. Come on, it's Mist rooms. Ooh. Nope. Oh, can't get down. Plus twenty. This one's way more than the other ones. Way, way, way more. They're both doing it at the same time. Maybe like twice as much as the other one. Started out looking like a lot more. Lasting longer, too. There's a lot of these cyclones. Try right, this one over here. It's another one that created appeared right there. Do, 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 do. 
wonder how to get to the other places, or are they just decoration to make it look like there's other stuff out there? We don't see any people over there. I'm gonna do one more and then head out, go back to Arian and see what else is there. Collect my points, see what I get. Oh. Level nine. Earth runes. Now I can do earth one. We'll do one earth one after this just to see how that goes. Level 10. We're flying. This is awesome. I sit here all day, I'll level 5,000. I don't even know what the top level is. My guess is 100. Alright, Earth. We're gonna try you, see what you... Looks more or less the same as all the other ones. So it increases what you get out of it, too. Teleport him? What they mean? Do I want to be... Yep. Into points. That's fine. Hopefully the points don't sit in my wallet. That would be annoying. Alright. How many points do I have? I bet I have like five. They let me into the Runecrafting Guild soon. It's cold up here on the roof. Twelve points. Nice. I only need twenty-five thousand to get a staff. Hundred and seventy five, and I get a hat. Okay. Let's go ahead and head on down and talk to Ariane back in the beginning. There's a guild portal I can explore one day. Alrighty. This has sent me... I wanted to go down to the bottom floor. Hopefully that's the main floor of our store. It is. Okay. Professor, whatever. Don't need to talk to anybody. This lady out here, that's what I want to talk to. I have three things to tell you. Hopefully you don't ask me to remember them because I was busy. Runecrafting. Have you learned anything from the wizards in the tower? Yes, three things. I've spoken to three of the wizards. So what did you learn? You are going to quiz me, aren't you? Preparing the purge, yes. You're a demon worshiper, no. Alaran told you... Told me about your premonitions. Okay. It said something came through the library floor. Okay, well, I'll go with the first one. What he means is he's going to flood the tower with magic without knowing what he's dealing with. It might work, but I want to be sure. We should find out more.
You're a demon worshiper. Told me about your premonitions. That's something came to the library for other questions. Let's go with tell me about your premonitions. He's the only tower wizard who was sympathetic. He convinced me to work on them rather than suppress them. But that doesn't help us with the problem. We need to find out what these vortices are. Said something came through the library floor. Through the library floor? But that means it was something from the old tower. The old tower? Let's get down there and investigate. Good idea. It's not going to be easy though. Archmage Perrion sealed the lower levels when he built the second tower. There's a rumor that the door can be opened using the water surge spell, but many wizards have tried casting that spell on the door and failed. It's more likely that there's a key hidden somewhere in the tower. Could you go back into the tower and find the key? I think wizard Elleron will help us if we tell him what we're doing. You should start by talking to him. Elrond. Elrond, Elrond, Elrond. He was on the second floor. And I think he was the easiest one to see from the elevator. I think he's here, and I think he's that way, or that way, is that way, somebody else, well, it came out that way, maybe that was the right way, nope, it was the opposite. Trayborn came outside. That's weird. Here's Alaron. Yep. I remembered. What can I do for you on this glorious day, adventurer? Tell you about the key. How can I get into the old tower? Alas, even senior tower wizards aren't allowed into the ruins. I certainly couldn't tell the secret to a disgraced ex-wizard and an outsider, however much I might privately want to help you. Said you'd help. Ariane is a brilliant mage, but she has never mastered the subtleties of human interaction. The oath I swore to the tower prevents me from helping you. Still, you privately want to help us. One wonders what it is that generations of archmages have wanted to keep locked away down there. Forbidding a source of knowledge goes against the principles upon which the first tower was founded. Arian said you'd help. Arian is a brilliant mage, but she has never mastered the subtleties of human inter. You do know, though. No one except Archmage Cedridor is allowed to know the secret of entry to the ruins. Naturally, I've heard the rumors. You mean the rumor about water surge? Many young 
wizards have wasted runes casting water surge on the door to no effect. A few, however, have speculated that the key might lie not in casting that spell, but in understanding it. What do you mean the key lies in understanding water surge? It was the Archmage Perieth first archmage of the new tower who sealed the lower levels. He had an idiosyncratic understanding of magic and its relationship to other arts. Perian had the pipe organ stored in the library, and he wrote a treatise on the relationship between magic and music. Saying there's a clue in Archmage Perrin's book. I don't recall saying anything of the sort. If you did want to read that book, though, for its historical interest, perhaps, you could find it on one of the bookshelves on the ground floor. the book. Play organ. Hmm. All right, let's look for Perion's book. You search for the book, not on this bookcase. You find a book entitled The Harmony of the Runes in a book, The Runes of the Spells of Water. It. Read Harmony of the Runes. By Perion, apprentice of Unaya, first archmage of the Reborn Tower. It is already well known that the harmonies of music are expressed in the motions of the heavenly bodies. But I believe that they can also be found in the relationship between the runes of magic. This I've proven to my satisfaction by both reason and experiment, and it is further confirmed by Samuel Scourduel, who writes in the third voyage that the elves of the western lands can shape magical crystals by sounding harmonies on enchanted flutes. Just as there were twelve notes in the chromatic scale, there are twelve runes associated with the magic of the tower, Mind, air, water, earth, fire, body, cosmic, chaos, nature, law, death, and blood. Some have theorized the existence of other runes, but they do not figure in the harmony. We can therefore assign to each rune a pitch, beginning with mind, A, therefore, then air, A sharp, and so forth up the scale. See the attached diagram. For the apprentice learning the spellbook of the tower, this linking of magic and music provides an aid to memorization, since the runes used for each spell can be memorized as a melody. It is for this reason that I have commissioned the building of a pipe organ in the tower library. I submit, however, that the harmony of the runes is also a profitable contemplation for the experienced wizard and the med meditation of the music of magic can provide a key to the deeper levels of the rune mysteries. Mm. So that organ that I can play over there was the answer right there. You just have to figure out which runes to go to. They probably told me so. Air, and they told me all of them, so I have to probably write them out and connect the dots. Okay, how about the runes and the spells of water? By Jalarest, apprentice of Trailborn. This volume lists the runes required by the old method of casting spells as used by Archmage Perian in the Wizards in the Old Tower. 
these sequences differ from the new method of casting spells and are of little practical use. They are, but they are preserved here for their historical interest. Water, strike, one water, one air, one mind. Water, bolt, two water, two air, one chaos. Water, blast, three water, three air, one death. Water, wave, seven water, five air, one blood. Water, surge, ten water, seven air, one blood, one death. See attached to diagram. Hmm... So that's it, probably. They, I think they said water, was it water blast or water surge to open the door? I have to figure out what those specific keys are and play them on the piano. But I have the books in my pocket, so I can just whip it out and try to look at it while I'm doing it. Let's see if there's anything else in the book, other bookcases. So you think you're a mage, volume 20. Okay, so it's probably just random stuff now. Alright, so if I go to the organ, I'm just going to see if I can play. He's busting a move over there on the organ. Oh, all right. <laughs> If you must play the organ, at least keep to the top manual. It's quietest. Not even Archmage Cedridor could concentrate with a racket from the loud manuals. Why do you even have an organ in the library? It's been here since the tower was rebuilt. I think the first Archmage was a little eccentric in his architectural preferences. Place the diagrams from the books into the organ keyboard as you sit down. Aha! So let's whip out that book I was just looking at. One water, one ear, one mind. One water. One air, one mind. Which one's the mind? D. Water surge runes. It just appeared when I did that. Did that give me? It did. It gave me water surge runes. So now I, so it creates runes. Ooh, what was one of the fancy ones? Three water, three air, one death. Three water, three air, one death. Death is G. Water surge room. Oh, that was my mousing over that created it. Oh, on the right. One, two, three. Oh, okay. I got it. Try again. The right was the key to everything right there. So if I just copied it, that would have been it. I'm starting over to try to see if I could do this. Alright, so this the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
A sharp is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then G sharp, that's up here. Then G. There's my key. You take the key. I did it. Now I have the key. I could go tell Arian and we can go do that. Let's head on over to Arian. Tell her I got the basement key. Awesome. And we will stop right there. And this is, I believe, a perfect time to put a cut in the video. We have finished several different quests, started a new one, and we're ready to go down into the basement. I think if we're able to do that, that's going to be an exciting point for the next time. So thanks for watching. I'm on Twitch, twitch.tv slash mangler3m. I'm going to go ahead and